So Dr. Zhang, our report says that we need nitrogen, but when you go to the nursery to buy fertilizer, there's nothing that's labeled as nitrogen on the front of the bag. I mean, they come up with all these different names mm -hmm. and there's a lot of numbers and formulas. So how do we know exactly what we need to buy? Well, you're right. On our report, we only recommend the pure nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the market, the fertilizers come in different uh, compounds mm -hmm. like urea or potash. They're not 100% of the nutrients, okay? But for example, this is a urea, right? It only has about 45% of nitrogen. Okay. Then you have to do a little bit of conversion to get the right amount of nitrogen to your field. Okay, so let's say we buy urea to put on our soil. Mm -hmm. um, how do we figure out how much of this we need? You say we need one pound of actual nitrogen this is only 45% of actual nitrogen. So how do we decide how much urea we need to apply on a thousand square feet? Well, that's just a little conversion. Are you ready to do some let's, let's grade do level some math. math? Yes. Okay. Well, suppose we need a one pound of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet. Okay. We're using urea to supply this nitrogen. Urea contains 45% of N, okay? Well, the calculation is very easy. Just the one pound of nitrogen needed divided by the concentration of that fertilizer. In this case, is 45%. So actually, it's one divided by 0.45, and you are going to get a 2.2. That means 2.2 pounds of this urea will supply one pound of nitrogen. Okay. So you just go out and apply 2.2 uh, pounds of urea to the area you want to fertilize it. And so this has four pounds. Mm -hmm. I only need 2.2, so all I have to buy is this one bag. If I had a larger yard, like 5,000 square feet, then we would just multiply this 2.2 times five. That would be 11 pounds of urea needed for your lawn. Okay. And now what if I bought blood meal? Blood meal shows that it just has nitrogen in it, 12% mm -hmm. uh, of actual nitrogen. So how do I figure out how much of this I would need to apply? Well, first of all, blood meal is considered an organic source of nitrogen. The content of nitrogen in this product is lower than uh, urea. So we have to apply more to get the same effect. Okay. The calculation is similar to this. You just change 45 to the new product is 12. 12%. So you divided 12% uh, instead of 45. Uh, 12, that would be higher than 2.2. I guess probably closer to eight. Okay. Okay. So. Instead of 2.2 pounds, you need uh, eight pounds of this blood meal to supply one pound of nitrogen to 1,000 square feet. Now, because there's only two and three quarters pound in here, I'm gonna need a couple of extra bags for this. Exactly. Actually, this will cost you more right. than urea. So if you were comparing and these were the same price, let's say, and I only need one bag of this, but I might need uh, four bags of this. Yes, I definitely would go with this one, but some people like uh, produce vegetable organically, right. so this is uh, their preferred choice. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Zhang, what do we do if we have a report that shows that we need all three, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium? How do we decide what we need to purchase? Well, first of all, you go to the store to buy the fertilizer contain all three nutrients, mm -hmm. nitrogen, phosphorus, and the potassium, okay? So then you do a little bit uh, uh, calculation like we did for nitrogen, okay? Let's say you need a one pound of nitrogen, two pounds of phosphorus, three pounds of potassium so for, let's, your, for your garden. Let's say our report okay. came back and said we needed this. Yeah. Right. Now you are using 10, 20, 10, 
to supply these nutrients. First of all, these three numbers stand for the percentage of nutrients in the bag. Mm -hmm. okay? So let's go with uh, based on the lowest amount. Okay. Otherwise, if you based on this, you over apply nitrogen. Okay? Okay. So basically, one divided by 10%, okay, equals 10. That means you need a 10 pounds of this mixed fertilizer to get one pound of nitrogen. Okay. okay? This will come up, we uh, also give you about uh, two pounds of phosphorus because the percentage is double of nitrogen. So those two already satisfied, okay. right? But the potassium, you need uh, three pounds. This one 10%. You only give you one pound, okay? Right. So you need still need uh, two additional pounds of potassium. Okay. What do you do in this case? Well, you go out and buy the fertilizer contain potassium mm -hmm. only, like this is a uh, myriad potash, okay? Sixty percent. It's pretty high concentration. Well, you need uh, two pounds of that, and then you have a uh, sixty percent. So basically you need about a uh, little bit over three let's say 3.3 .3 pounds of this uh, potash to supply two pounds of uh, potassium that way you have all three nutrients satisfied so you not only would be applying your 10 to any 10 but then you'd also be applying some potash to satisfy your one pound nitrogen, two pounds phosphorus, and three pounds potassium. Exactly. And you would only do this once, not every time you fertilize, correct? Well, for phosphorus and the potassium, typically you only need to apply once based on a soil test report. Okay. For nitrogen, typically you need to apply several times per year, like nitrogen for long. Uh, most people apply two to three times. When, if you have a warm season like Bermuda grass, you apply once, late May or early June, maybe another time, early July and August. Because nitrogen will leach out with water, rain, irrigation, uh, whereas phosphorus and potassium actually cling to the soil a little bit more. Yes. So once you fertilize their phosphorus and potassium, you won't need to keep applying. No, uh, our recommendation is also based on annual requirement for P and K. Okay. So once you apply, this should last for a whole season or whole year. But nitrogen is per application. And then how often do you fertilize? It depends on you. If you like to mow the yard more often, you put more there. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, just do what uh, uh, most uh, environment friendly way. So after we apply this to our garden, then you would recommend additional fertilizer of just a urea or a nitrogen fertilizer? Typically just nitrogen only. Urea is a good choice. Uh, ammonia nitrate, mm -hmm. ammonia sulfate are also nitrogen fertilizers. Okay. So it depends on where you can get those fertilizers. Or blood meal if you want to go organic. Blood meal. Uh, another choice for uh, phosphorus is uh, bone meal. Bone and then you have a fireplace wood ash has a lot of potassium that would help you to build up the potassium level as well. Okay, thank you for doing the math for us Dr. Zhang. You're welcome. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.